Hey everyone, um, I recently finished a course with Townsend Wardlaw and what I learned in that course has really transformed my life over the last three months. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about, and I think particularly, I, I think particularly so because I think a lot of people can resonate with this, is that um, one of the, one of the, or, or three beings that I used to come from, and they are gradually eroding, I, I won't lie, they haven't completely gone, habitual uh, beings tend to have sometimes a habit of coming back, um, until you forgive yourself, and then, and then go through the process, but the three things, the three ones that I really wanted to talk about were being struggle, uh, being that I am struggling, or sh I struggled, uh, being a fighter, I think that's a particularly common one, actually, I commented on someone's post the other day about, oh, you've just got to be a fighter, not not in this group, but out outside of this group, oh, you've got to be a fighter, and I said, well, you've got to be careful with that, because uh, it's a very dangerous being to come from, uh, in my own experience, anyway, and the, the, uh, the other one was um, being behind, and and um, it's all interesting because all three of them kind of combine to really, <laughs> I was going to swear then, but I, I, I'm trying to be good, um, combine to really screw 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 you up, or, or they screwed me up a lot for, for a long time. Um, but just the identification of those three things in, 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 in a conversation with Townsend before actually I even started the, con the, the course, but the course then helped me get rid of them or, or start to go through the process of getting rid of them. Um, they really helped me because before before that before talking to Townsend before the course, I had no knowledge that I was kind of um, well. I had no. I, I obviously was thinking, oh, why is this happening? Why is this happening? And then I had a lot of health issues, like, and I had most of the mental health issues in the past as well, which I solved. Um, but I was like, oh, you know, why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Um, and also, why? Why am I thinking, or why did I used to think? Um, oh, I've got to push. I've got to. I've got to push for everything. Um, but just the identification of those three things has really been. These three beings has been really, really invaluable and useful for me. Um, and I guess just to kind of talk a bit more about what I mean by them is that well, being struggle is is as I said earlier is essentially I'm struggling. Um, I'm struggling in life. Uh, life is a struggle. Um, this is how life is. Um, and fighting is like I've got to fight to 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 get ahead. I've got to fight to not be behind. I've got to um, fight life. Um, and then obviously being behind is kind of like oh, I should be I should be somewhere else in the future. I should be um, I should be uh, I, I'm quite senior in the UK government or, or in the civil service. And and um, I always used to have this kind of mentality um, around ah. Oh, I've lost 10 years to all mental health issues that I had and the physical health issues I had. If I didn't have those, then I would be even higher up uh, um, uh, than, than I am now. Um, or in my coaching, I would be like, I would be light years ahead if I didn't have all these health issues to deal with. So I constantly felt like I was being behind. And because I constantly felt like I was being behind or I was behind, and I constantly felt like I was struggling, it then made sense for me also to 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 kind of come from the being of that I needed to fight. Like, if I thought I was behind, and if I thought I was, oh, life was a struggle, then I would constantly have to fight to, to not be behind, um, and then fight also comes out of the struggling. Um, so they're kind of like three, a combination of three like really powerful beings. I mean, there was they're like, that this and this is nicking it again from Townsend, but their superpowers, like their superpowers, they created my life perfectly and have been creating my life perfectly for the last 10, 15 plus years. And and through those beings, I created things for me to fight. I created things for me to struggle with. I created things uh, to, to be behind uh, with. Um, and and so like everything that I got was created perfectly through those beings. All my doing followed my being, and 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 one of the powerful things for me, and particularly in my in regards to my health issues, past health issues, I I correct myself, um, is that I realised at one point that I was I was creating my health issues, or I was creating my creating kind of worries and concerns about these health issues to then fight with. 
um, because I felt like when I saw one thing, something else pe popped up and that kept happening and it kept happening. And eventually I kind of realized, um, I eventually realized that actually, you know, there's, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a theme going on here that when I saw something, then, then something else comes up. And again, that kind of makes a hundred percent sense if I'm coming or if I was coming from a being of, of fighting, that being creates things for me to then fight continuously and i and I've, i talked to a few of my clients about this and talked to other people about it and it's kind of like it's like a feedback loop like your being or my being created these things and creates these things and then you see it and then it's a feedback loop so it's it kind of like it's, it keeps feeding itself it keeps feeding itself it keeps like you you kind of like well i used to keep kind of seeing things that affirm what i what i believe and then and then that would kind of just be a, f a feedback loop and i mean i guess for a struggling one like oh life is a struggle um i'm trying to think of an example like i i am single but in the past i used to struggle massively with with being single and then i used to kind of like then see ex see things to confirm that life was a struggle oh there's not enough good looking single women where i live um i'm not very good at that etc etc but then that would feed that being that would feed that those kind of beliefs um behind that and and reaffirm and reaffirm and reaffirm but what's really cool and and, and this is really what i want to uh get to is that you don't have to keep creating out of those beings those beings are kind of just there until you see them awareness is, is as they say awareness is curative once you're aware of something you can start to kind of chip away at it or you can let that go you can let that go um so for me once Townsend pointed those things out to me it started bringing them into my focus it started bringing the fact that I had these stories and these beings and beliefs going on that I could then start to let them go I could start to see that they were they were true and and uh, I had already started seeing that the fighting one was true for sure but once I started seeing that they were not true um or at least they were true for me in my own reality and not not true in tr true in essence then I could actually start to um to to, to see through them and and let those things go and, and be and, and notice when I started to to kind of react and fight so for example earlier today before this video I got a bit annoyed uh with life um in the past my my uh response and my attitude would be oh i've just got to work harder i've just got to fight i've got to fight harder i've got to push myself but the problem is that then made me ill um and also all of my doing out of that didn't didn't result in things that i would like like being ill um it didn't get the results i wanted and it didn't feel good as well but what I noticed earlier today is that, yes, I was annoyed and being annoyed is a perfectly valid um, and acceptable feeling. Uh, it's not positive. It's not negative. Um, it's just a feeling. Um, I could then not react in my usual habitual way, my legacy being a fighter. And, and that's so powerful because over the last three months, I've kind of increasingly become aware of that being a habit. And, and and managed to identify it earlier in the habit path or like the habit walk, you know, like you kind of walk down a road, you see a dark alleyway and then you're like, oh, that looks cool and I'll go down that. But what, this time I no noticed that the dark alleyway was probably not a good a good way to go down and and I stopped and I kept on walking. I was angry. I didn't have I didn't have to bypass being angry or annoyed. Um, I just accepted the fact that I was annoyed and I was angry and 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 then it just passed. I, I didn't need to fight. Um, I didn't need to push. I didn't need to struggle. Um, and, and, and now I'm doing this video. Um, but yeah, but I wanted to, I just wanted to kind of point though, point it out to, to other people that like if, if particular things are happening in your life, um, they're very good indicators of where you're coming from, who you are being, what beliefs you've got going on. For example, when I was having a lot of health issues, that was evidence of me uh, coming from a being of struggle, coming from a being of fighting, uh, also coming from a being of behind, because then I reacted out of that and that, that meant I pushed and had health issues. Um, and, and another one would be like, for example, if you're struggling with money, if you're struggling with anything, then being lack, 
So what I wanted to also say is not only just like highlight that, you know, being fighting, being a fighter, or being fighting, um, being struggle and uh, being behind, they're massively kind of like powerful beings to come from, which create perfectly. Um, but sometimes it's quite difficult to identify what beings you've got going on. Um, so yeah, I would 100% say what's been useful for me is to look at the results that I'm getting in life. And, and, and then you can kind of track back, go, hmm, what kind of being creates that? Or what kind of being would create that? So for example, like lack of money would be being lack or, um, uh, I don't know, being, well, being behind perhaps. Um, so that, that, that's another really big thing that I, um, I, I learned over the last three months. Um, and I think it's been really invaluable in my journey over the last three months as well, just kind of identifying what beings you're coming from, or what beings, sorry, rather I'm coming from. Um, and then I can create ways uh, to to kind of like forgive myself and then create new ways of being. So for example, now, instead of, instead of being behind, being struggle, um, and being a fighter, I've got, I am at peace. I am exactly where I am meant to be. I am thriving and coming from those beings, uh, I'm, I've already started to see shifts and changes, but I'm increasingly um, looking forward to, to what will happen in the future. But yeah, this is uh, uh, well, it's uh, a bit longer than I anticipated and a bit longer than I thought it would be, but hopefully, hopefully it's been useful. Um, and uh, yeah, leave a comment below if it has or even if it hasn't, leave one too.